guys, what's up? Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you guys didn't know already, I have been on a fat loss journey and I've technically been on this journey for a very, very long time, but it's definitely been in and out. These past two weeks have really been a huge shift in my life. I've really put the pedal to the metal and trying to reach my goals. I've been eating in a consistent calorie deficit and I can officially say at the end of these past two weeks that I have lost five pounds. And no, that is not muscle weight. It's not water weight because I actually have barely changed my fitness routine and I'm still drinking the same good amount of water. So today I want to share with you guys everything that I've been doing over the past two weeks to take off the weight, be consistent, stay motivated, and above all, feel a new level of confidence. So obviously movement is very important for so many different aspects in your life, not only fat loss, weight loss, body transformation, but it's just so good for your mental health as well. I actually really love my current fitness routine. I go to F45 two days a week, and then I go to the gym three or four days a week. That split, I am not changing. I'm not changing going to F45. I'm not changing how many leg days or arm days I do. But the one thing that I have been changing is I have been upping my weights in the gym. Not only because I want to build lean muscle mass. I would love to have like muscle toned arms and a muscular back. I think it's so sexy. But also lifting heavier weights does help burn more calories. And I put myself in this box that I've been pulling for the exact same weight every single time at the gym for the same exercises. And it's about time that I start upping those weights because you know what? I think that you're getting a little bit too easy and I really want to challenge myself more. I've been noticing that I've been burning more calories in the gym and I feel stronger. The one thing that I've really want to work on is my shoulder strength because I swear when I go to F45 and we're doing like consecutive push-ups it is so hard <laughs> you think it would be so much easier with how much I do weightlifting but I just have like zero natural shoulder strength so we really need to work on that one but my point is to find a workout routine that works for you whether that's only going on walks during the day walking on the treadmill because it's too cold outside I completely understand doing yoga in your living room doing weightlifting going and doing workout classes whatever works for you movement is the key part of this it doesn't matter what kind of movement you do as long as you are moving your body Body. So with that, I am going to finish getting ready for my F45 class. I'm very excited. I'm doing like the middle one today, the 830, because then I'm going to go to my friend Julia's house after and we're going to do a little brunch and finish the last episode of Love is Blind. We've been like watching it at the same time together and talking about it. And then we saved the last episode to watch together in person. So it's going to be really fun. I haven't seen her in quite a few weeks, but then we'll talk more when I get home later this afternoon. Also, I do have my cup of greens. Don't forget your greens. I always have my code with one up linked down below. If you ever want to use it I greatly appreciate your support but I'm gonna chug this and then make some pre-workout because you guys know I can't do a workout without pre-workout all right it's a lot later and I'm back at home now it's almost 3 p.m. and we had a brunch but I did have a full breakfast before going to my workout so I am just gonna have a protein bar right now as a snack to tie me over until dinner I really hate eating a full meal at 3 p.m. because it's like not quite lunch it's not quite dinner and it throws off my whole eating schedule but that's one of the things that I changed in order to start seeing progress during my weight loss was upping my protein intake I've always tried to eat a little bit more of a higher protein diet but I never truly tried it and tried to get over a hundred grams but for the past two weeks I've been getting a hundred or more grams of protein in and I definitely definitely feel a difference at first I wasn't sure what getting a hundred grams or more of protein in per day would really do for me I know a lot of people talk about it but something that I've always struggled with when at tracking my macros and calories is that I always felt really deprived and I always felt so hungry and that's when I would overeat and just go off the rails because I felt starving so I would indulge much more changing my macros so that I'm getting in at least 30% protein in my diet and adjusting those macros within the my fitness palette app consistently getting the 100 grams per day keeps me so full and I never have that starving feeling that I used to get it can definitely get difficult to eat that much protein in a day and that's why I started eating more protein bars again like I used to like over a year ago or so I also definitely prioritize those quest protein chips they are game changer they are so high in protein and taste so good they taste like real chips so those are my two favorite high protein snacks I really like the Alani new fit snack bars but I also recently really like the barbell ones as well I actually really wanted one of those right now but I just realized that I brought all of them to work so we're having an Alani new one. I actually think I want to go to a GNC and try more of their flavors. I've only tried two, the cookies and cream and chocolate dough. The chocolate dough, 
oh my goodness if you have not tried it it tastes so good and that's saying something that like i actually enjoy a protein bar i mean these are good and all don't get me wrong but that chocolate dough one oh just hits the spot so if you're seriously looking to make a difference in your weight loss journey definitely make sure that you're getting in at least 100 grams of protein per day or more if you enjoy protein shakes that's definitely a really easy way to do it and i would recommend i just don't really like protein shakes most of the time but then making sure that you're eating lean meat as well because that is a nice natural form of protein and it's really good for you so now i am going to eat this protein bar watch a couple tiktoks honestly while i eat it and then i do need to do a little bit of cleaning around the house I have a few dishes that I need to do that are sitting out in front of me. Look at me already sticking to my New Year's resolutions. This pasta has been in the fridge way too long. And instead of eating it, because normally I'd be like, it's pasta, it's fine. I'm going to toss it because it's definitely been in here for like over three weeks. And that's gross. We're going to throw it away. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake. I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best up this cleaning montage for a quick try on home. I just got this package at my front door this afternoon. It's from Levi. I got a new pair of jeans for work. In my day-to-day -day life, I prefer jeans that have rips in them, but unfortunately that is not office appropriate. So I needed to get a new pair of jeans. So I got these. These are the mile high jeans. I was actually just wearing this exact same style from Levi, but in a lighter wash and it has a rip on the knee. I love them. They're one of my favorite pairs of jeans I've ever owned. They're so comfortable. They're very stretchy and I think really flattering and works really well on a curvier figure It's always really hard for me to find jeans that fit a smaller waist and a bigger hips and because these are stretchier They fit so nicely. This was just like a medium wash and as you can see there are no rips They're definitely office appropriate. So I'm very happy about that. I'll definitely link these down below I'm really happy with them I had just ordered a pair from Abercrombie and they did not fit me well at all probably fault on my part for not ordering the curvy ones because I ordered regular ones and like the waist was like massive and then the thighs were tight it was oh, a girl's worst nightmare so if you have a curvier figure and want some nice stretchy skinny jeans these are definitely my favorite all right I already cleaned the kitchen and started the laundry but I do need to do a little bit more cleaning so I gotta get back to it one of the things that made the biggest difference for me in the past two weeks was really tracking every single thing that I was eating unless it was a meal out that truly was untrackable for example I had a Christmas potluck at work and I took like a handful of mac and cheese a handful of chips a little bit of salsa so that was definitely just too many different things to try to track but then today when I went over to my friend's house we just had pancakes and bacon and drank a mimosa so that is very easily trackable it was only three things so if you can track your meals out even if you're not entirely sure what's in them just to have a ballpark of an idea of how many calories it was and what went into it definitely do it I was gonna count today's lunch as a write-off but when I went to track it it was actually so simple so I'm glad I did I also just finished inputting my breakfast from this morning and the protein bar and then I took a look at my calories and macros for the rest of the day and planned out my dinner for tonight as well that's also something I've really stepped up is planning my dinners a little bit ahead of time obviously it's like four o'clock right now so it's not super early but even just taking a look in my fridge realizing what I have if I need to get any meat out of the freezer that is so helpful and what I've tracked so far for my dinner tonight I will hit my hundred grams of protein today so I'm very excited about that but with that I am obviously out of protein bars and like I said I really want to try the other flavors of the barbell protein bars but I don't want to commit to an entire pack of them so I just looked it up and there's a GNC not too far away from me so I think I want to go there and get like one of each of the flavors that I haven't tried and see which one I love the best and then order a pack of them on Amazon but first I'm gonna switch this to the dryer because it just finished I just lost my water glass guilty look at how cute you are 
I was gonna film in there, and then the protein aisle was directly next to the cashier, so I got way too nervous. So they did have two flavors that I have never tried before. I first stocked up on the chocolate dough flavor because it is just so elite and I wanted two more of them. And then they had this flavor, which I have not tried, the white chocolate almond. It looks like one that I would really like. I love white chocolate. And then this one that I've really been wanting to try as well, the creamy crisp. I think there's only one or two others that I wanted to try that they didn't have. I know there's a hazelnut nougat and maybe something else, but at least I'm trying two new flavors. So we're stocked up. I got four days worth of protein bars. Especially after 5 p.m. so I'm ready to make my dinner. I am super hungry at this point. I'm just gonna use a lot of leftovers in the fridge. I have these leftover mixed veggies that I just made last night. Some rice and a tiny bit of cauliflower rice that was just left over in the freezer. There's like the tiniest bit left so I'm just gonna throw it in there. And I was gonna do chicken but I did not think enough ahead of time to have it thawed out. I do have it on the counter right now but I'm just gonna eat that tomorrow. And today I'm going to do shrimp instead because it's very high in protein and this thaws out much quicker. I just pop them in a bottle of water then pop off the tails. All in all, this should only take me about 10 minutes to make and that is truly just the strip because the other things just go in the microwave. is served we got the rice the veggies and I ended up putting the cauliflower rice in the pan with the shrimp to take away some of the water and I'm gonna top this with the rest of this Mongolian garlic sauce and soy sauce Hey guys, what's up? It's the next day. I figured that we could keep this video going through Sunday because Sunday is obviously when I do a little bit of my reset activities and that is what's helping me lose weight right now is really setting up my weeks. Con and I just finished going grocery shopping and I stocked up on the usual things, mostly just fruits and veggies. And then I usually only get like one meat product per week and then I'll freeze the rest of it. So today I bought ground beef so that I can make hamburgers and just store a couple of them in the freezer. I thought that would be really helpful throughout the week. And right now we're getting ready to go out to lunch. We're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants. We've only been there one time, but we were like so happy with it. So I'm really excited to go back and maybe try something new there. Also, I'm pretty sure that I didn't show you guys this yet, but we got a tree for the living room. I'm so happy with it. It's so cute and fits the space perfectly. I've been wanting one of these forever. And especially once the Christmas tree was gone, we definitely were like, okay, this space is so bare. It needs something. We just got it from Ikea. I think it was only like $80 or something like that. And these trees can definitely cost like $200. I think it looks so good and was definitely worth it. Back from lunch, it was so good. I got the pesto gnocchi and it came with half of an acorn squash. It was delicious. I do have a little bit of leftovers, so I'm very excited to eat those later. But that brings me to my next point that has been helping me along this journey, and that is to remember that it is okay to have treat meals. I try to limit mine to one or two a week and that's been working really well for me. My issue in the past is that I've said it's okay to have cheat meals, but then I end up having a very indulging item every single day and that's where it doesn't work. So if you're gonna treat yourself to a meal that you're really craving and is absolutely delicious and probably calorically dense, just make sure to really realize how often you're doing that. I won't even try to track a meal like that in my fitness pal, it's just gonna get way too complicated. So I'm just gonna treat it as if I ate a normal lunch and continue on with the rest of my day but still keep on tracking. That was my issue in the past of having a lunch like that and being like, oh, well, I already went over my calories for the day. I'm not gonna track anymore. I'm still gonna have a very balanced dinner, which I'm very excited about getting some greens because I did not eat like 
like any vegetables today. I'm probably still gonna have a protein bar too because I know that I'm definitely lacking on my protein today. But to end off the day, I thought we could do some meal prep together again. I'm actually gonna change up part of my lunches for work, which I normally never do. I always do a really big salad with some kind of high protein meat. So lately I've been doing chicken meatballs with barbecue sauce, but honestly I'm over it and I wanna switch it up. So I am gonna be making a turkey chili. I haven't made this in so long, like maybe months even. I love making a homemade chili. So I'm very excited. It's gonna be really high in protein. It's gonna have a bunch of extra veggies in there and it's gonna keep me full throughout the day. So I'm really excited to put that back into my routine. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below. It's gonna look like a lot of ingredients, but I promise it's not. A lot of them are just spices and I feel like chili needs a lot of really good spices to make it good. But otherwise it's honestly so easy and I do everything in one pot. The chili is done. I already portioned out two of them for tomorrow and Tuesday. Then this is going to be three servings. Normally I would make this chili recipe into four servings if you wanna make it an actual meal, but because I'm serving it on the side of a salad, I want it to be a little bit of a smaller portion. Hopefully I have enough room in the fridge for all of this because I just went grocery shopping and it's kind of full right now. So that should be interesting. And with that, I'm gonna end this video off here. I hope you enjoyed it. These are all the steps that I'm taking to seriously transform my body in 2023. And that's why I wanted share them with you because they are working for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.